when the visitors got to our booth in Oshkosh, there was the usual scepticism about having an engine there that wasn't a real engine, it was only a model. So whilst there was a, a dose of scepticism, I'll believe it when I see it, it was always predicated by, but I love what you're doing. We really have been waiting for this product for so long, and it's great to see that someone's actually even finally doing it. We were fortunate at Oshkosh to have our Chief Technology Officer, Ali Mahalati, being able to attend, and he was a huge asset at the show. We found that a great deal of engagement that we got was around the technical side of the engine to explain the general architecture of the engine, but also about the recuperator technology as well. People were fascinated by how we were aiming to achieve the fuel efficiency that we're aiming to achieve. And it was great that we had Ali there to explain how a recuperator works, how we're incorporating it into our engine. There was a significant amount of interest in that. And, and we found that once people had it explained to them, they got it. Because in the past, people had been aware of the historical fuel inefficiencies of the smaller gas turbine engines. Uh, and recuperator technology is, is fairly recent technology and people weren't aware of it. Now they understand it, they get it, uh, they, they do realise that it is possible now to get better fuel efficiencies from the smaller gas turbine engines if recuperator technology can be incorporated into it. And this has been the challenge for us, is to getting what has traditionally been a big recuperator that's like this for ground-based applications into something this big that can fit in an aircraft engine. Unlike Oshkosh 2021, we hope to have an actual running engine available at Oshkosh. Now, we can't run it there, but we hope to have it fitted to an aircraft and have it flying by that point. We just completed our booking for Sun and Fun 2022. So Sun and Fun next year is going to be a great opportunity for those who got to see our model at Oshkosh to get down and see the real thing. That's going to be very exciting for them and for us as well too. Really looking forward to that. Our engineers have been busy finalising the design of the prototype engine. We've completed the design of the major components now, so it's only some of the small sub-assemblies and associated equipment that we're finalising. Right now, we're generating the engineering drawings that will allow us to manufacture those components. And indeed, we've already sent off a few of the drawings for the major components to our suppliers to start the manufacturing of those components, which will commence over the course of the next couple of weeks. It's good for us also because we're seeing a transition from engineering models on the computer to actual hardware. Our excitement's really building in the company at the moment, both from the perspective of the progress of the technical program and also from the progress of the commercial program. We're finding that we're receiving a lot of feedback and inquiry from around the world. So we found our ROI program to be very popular. Remembering that our ROI program is a no obligation, no cost way of getting yourself on the priority list to order an engine for us when we open our order book. If you're considering buying our engine, I'd highly recommend that you submit an ROI with us to get yourself on that priority list. You can access our ROI form through our website. Our commercial team's been busy over the last few months uh, preparing for engaging with the customer moving ahead. Uh, we've got a number of initiatives underway at the moment, and that's the development of our forums. We're going to have enhanced YouTube presence as well too, so I'd encourage all our customers to subscribe to our YouTube channel if they haven't already, because as we move ahead and move into a production of components, we're going to be getting a lot of interesting stories out there through our YouTube channel and through our other social media networks. It's clear that the word is spreading about Turbero. I'm Dave Limmer, I'm the founder of Turbero, and as always, safe flying.